Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin from GreyFlorals.com and I am back today with another episode of Color Theories with Cynthia. We are tackling the color green in today's episode. Um, this layout's fairly fast as you can tell. It's almost a seven minute process video but um, I cut out a lot of the plain work like cutting out all these shapes I'm about to trace um, because you guys don't want to watch me cut out shapes for another two minutes um, and I know you guys want to get to crafting so if you're watching this in the background of your crafting, I hope you're enjoying it. And if you're watching this for inspiration, I hope you guys join us for the rest of the color theory series. Next week, we are going to tackle the color blue, which is one of my favorite colors. Um, but green is this week. So I am taking this paper pad from, I believe it's Kathy Davis, and it's called Journey, which is a super old uh, Joann's collection. And picking out some of the green and white and just green patterns. Um, some of them have a tiny bit of blue, but I'm letting that slide for this one. Um, and cutting out these beautiful palm leaves. This palm leaf is actually from a banner set. Um, it was a bunch of different colors of the same palm leaf, but uh, I'm using them as tracers here instead of the actual green color that they are. Um, I felt this green didn't go up with, well with the background paper I chose, which is actually just some plain green cardstock from, I believe, Colorbox. Um, just one of the colors in my stash. I'm not sure if they have specific names or not, but I'm going to cut out these pieces here, except for the brown. I end up using the dark brown in a different way. And um, if you guys are new to the color theory series, exactly, um, this is the second round of it, and I am doing it with Cynthia this time. Again, I'll have all of her stuff linked down below so you guys can check hers out as well. But essentially, we take one color of the rainbow and make it the prominent color of the layout for the week. So this week is green and you're allowed to use neutrals which includes whites, blacks, and browns and grays and metallics as other colors but you're not supposed to use other colors like blue or yellow for this week example. You're just supposed to use green. So that is what I am doing. So I have those beautiful three leaves cut out and I just matted my photo with another pattern from that same 6x6 paper pad and now I'm using my dark brown cardstock as an element from the side here just to give the leaves a more pop of color um, they're kind of blending in with the background, which was okay, but I wanted a little bit more. Another way I could have done this was with hand stitching, but I was kind of in a rush for this layout because this one's definitely under the wire for uh, making our weekly deadline. Um, definitely didn't have uh, time to film this week, but you know, we're having a good life. So if you guys are following along with my live stream uh, from February, this earlier this month, um, I have another live stream coming up tomorrow, which is Sunday, February 18th. So definitely join me if you're into card making. Um, that's what I'll be doing for this live stream. Um, and if you were also watching last uh, week's live stream, I uh, told you guys I was going to look at adopting a cat, and I'm happy to announce we adopted two cats. Um, and you'll be soon seeing layouts featuring those two little darlings of ours. So I'm really excited about that. I just glued down most of the pieces. Uh, I have a Bella Boulevard 12 by 12 sticker sheet to the right here which is full of a bunch of nature stickers, which is perfect since this is a photo of my boyfriend and I when we went hiking uh, two summers, I believe. And I'm going to just pop this photo up with some fun foam, definitely to give it some dimension from the other greens in the background since this photo is primarily green itself. And as always, I use both liquid and tape adhesive under my foam just to make sure it definitely stays. This little, I think it might be six inch sticker is from that sticker sheet as well as these two circular stickers that I will be using. Um, I also look at a Echo Park sticker sheet but decides against using any of those. I also look through my die cuts and I find one that says date on it and is green and brown which is perfect and I believe those are from not Little Yellow Bicycle. Uh, it's an older scrapbook brand. I think Chatterbox. Uh, I believe that's who made those. There are so many brands that are out of date and commission now that don't make any products which is so sad but I'm glad to see new brands coming about and I'm definitely trying to support everyone I can because everybody makes such lovely products. So now I'm looking through my stash to find what else what other little bits I can add and of course I need to do wood veneer since it is a nature layout. I pull out one of my new feather pieces which is from Hobby Lobby's Paper Studio line. And usually you can't just put one wood veneer on a layout, so I pull out some of my Studio Calico bird wood veneers and also some Studio Calico hearts. And I think that's all I add for wood veneer. Um, I know I add a couple other pieces, but I don't think they're wood veneer. 
um, this little heart goes down with a date and I also put a little bit of washi on this layout and I'm going to add another strip now but it's tucked under the bottom side of the dark brown paper and now I'm going to pull out one flare which uh, is from the Crafty Pocket on Etsy and I love her shop I've talked about her before beautiful beautiful flare designs and it's just a little cloud and while there isn't clouds in this photo I just thought it was cute and naturey and it added another pop of white which helps with the whites on the bottom left so just bringing that white up there to balance out those colors really helps um, I'm also looking for other acrylic pieces and I pull out this U which is from Ellie Studio um, I definitely need to pick up some more acrylic words I'm definitely running low so um I'm going to hunt for those in a little bit. I'm going to glue both of these down. And that's my title as well. I was going to do, I was looking for another piece I have that says You Are My Sunshine. But I forgot I'm saving that for a kit for one of my albums. But um, this works beautifully as well. And it'll go well with my journaling. And to top it off, I'm going to add, of course, some phrase stickers from Tim Holtz and some enamel dots, which are from the Paper Studio again. But I hope you guys enjoyed this layout. Definitely check out Cynthia's green layout below. And definitely check out our playlist for color theory series round two and if you want more inspiration check out color theory series round one I have a playlist for that as well on my channel so if you haven't already please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you guys next week for blue and thank you so much for watching bye